Leucippus. Remarkably little is known of Leucippus, who is generally credited with having founded atomism in Greek philosophy. Except for this historical distinction, there is little evidence to show how Leucippus's concept of atoms differs from the more famous example of Democritus, with whom he was associated. Leucippus may have been born in Elea, Abdera, or Miletus, sometime during the 5th century BC. He was reportedly a student of Zeno, who was a follower of Parmenides. Just how Leucippus worked with Democritus is subject to much controversial speculation. Indeed, Epicurus may have denied the very existence of Leucippus, yet Aristotle credits him with laying the foundation for atomism. The atomist doctrine ascribed to Leucippus holds that the universe consists of just two elements, the full, or solid, and the empty, or void. Both these elements are infinite and constitute all that is. Change in this system occurs only at the level of appearances, the ultimate constituents of being remaining changeless, only rearranging themselves into new combinations. As for the void, this was necessary to allow motion, and Leucippus purportedly argued that atoms are always in motion, an idea with which Aristotle found fault because Leucippus failed to account for what force produces the motion. Leucippus formulated a cosmology in which worlds are formed by groups of atoms that coalesce in a cosmic world. This forces the atoms to separate out and sort themselves by like kind. The circulating atoms create a membrane of atoms, which encloses others within it. The outer membrane acquires additional atoms, which take flame as they revolve. In this way, the stars were formed, with the burning sun in the outermost circle. Worlds are also formed, developed, and perish in the same process of coalescence and whirling. Although Leucippus's cosmology seems mechanical, a quotation that has come down from him declares that nothing happens in vain, but everything proceeds from logos and by necessity. The introduction of logos suggests regulation by reason, which certainly has no place in Democritus's atomism. The interpretation of the logos quotation remains unresolved. Are you a philosophy student or just have a general interest in philosophy? Since ancient times, brilliant philosophical teachings and dialogues taught by great luminous minds have deeply elevated the way we think and live. The Complete Philosophy Primer is a comprehensive, organized, easy to read, and all-encompassing guide specifically written for students in their first college-level philosophy course, as well as anyone with an interest in philosophy. With this jam-packed philosophical guide, you will optimize your knowledge in philosophy, logic, ethics, its history, and branches, learn philosophical concepts, term definitions, and biographies, find lists of essential books, films, blogs, websites, and other resources, improve your writing skills, learn how to argue effectively, and most of all, learn how to be a better student. Order your copy today to philosophize your mind and illuminate your wisdom.